guys welcome back to the channel it's Sarah here again if you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time you're welcome we have loads of fun on this channel and you have a great time here if you're a returning subscriber thank you you're the real OGs thank you so much for supporting and yeah let's get right into the video in today's video we'll be discussing how to select your bridesmaids and plan a great and fun bridal shower yeah this video will be part of our wedding planning series and we'll be addressing today how to pick the right bridesmaids it may seem like oh is this not obvious it's not that obvious people tend to pick bridesmaids for so many reasons which are not the best reasons you will see someone picking bridesmaids because they look a certain way and they want everybody to come and slay which is important but if that's the main reason for picking your bridesmaids they may not do the actual roles that you expect bridesmaids to do which basically a bridesmaid is a maiden to the bride so they are there to serve you on that day so if you pick all slay queens everybody's coming to slay 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 and no one is willing to attend to the bride then what was really the purpose of picking bridesmaids in the first place so yeah so i'll be pinpointing to you tips on how to pick your bridesmaids and also how to organize a great bridal shower one way you would have fun and would be a lead on to the actual wedding there's so many aspects of the wedding planning that could be daunting but if there's one thing you don't want to stress about is the people around you and your bridal shower i mean your bridesmaids the people that consist of the bridal train yeah the bridal train are those people that would basically give up the vibe that you need on the wedding day you're not going to spend so much time with your guest because like there's so many people that come for your wedding how many people can you really dance with jump with and all of that but that bridal party like the bridal train they are the ones that will actually make your wedding either fun or boring who wants a boring wedding not me yeah so when i wanted to pick my bridesmaids i looked at the following things the first one for me was who are my real friends who are the people that i can call in the night or if i have any issues i'll run to first or the people whom i have the most fun like my closest friends like my real g's like my guy 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 once i was able to answer who are my real friends it made the list so easy not to say that you can't have acquaintances and all of those among your bridal train but if you have your real friends the vibe already is established these are people that you spend most of your time with on a general day that you chill with you speak to and all of that so having them on your bridal train would just make everything so seamless whereas if you have acquaintances you have to start like i don't know um I don't want to say working on eggshells but trying to please them trying to do things for them just to make them feel comfortable whereas with your real friends you can be as real as possible and yeah just enjoy the process and that's really what you want especially with planning a wedding a nigerian wedding that's already stressed another important thing to have in mind is picking friends that have a service mindset so a mindset to serve you I, for example, I would never have an issue with serving my friends. One of my close friends that um, did her traditional wedding before me, on that day, I couldn't even dress up. I couldn't do so many things because some things went wrong. I was I was one of her bridesmaids. Some things went wrong. Her hairdresser didn't show up on time. And I literally had to pull up my sleeves, help her do her hair, help her get ready. I didn't dress up on that day. I didn't do any single makeup on her traditional day. But I was really a maiden to her on that day so i can imagine if that had happened and i was just one of her acquaintances there or a friend that doesn't have a service mindset all i'll be thinking about is oh i haven't done my makeup oh i'm not dressed up in this and that but it's her day she was a priority for me so you want friends that would feel that way i'm not saying nobody prays for uh, things to go wrong or whatever but you just want to know that if anything was to happen otherwise they would put you as a priority they are willing to serve you and assist you in what you need so that's very important because of the type of bride that i am or the type of person i am in general it was so important for me that my friends 
the ones on my bridal train are the real life of the party i didn't want no boring bridesmaid i didn't want no stock up bridesmaid that would just be sat in one corner and like not join the whole of the party no i wanted my friends to vibe to have a great time so yeah i picked those of my friends that are the real life of the party the ones with whom like when we were in school who we'll actually go out on those night out together we'll go for house parties and all of things those people that i know bring like a great party vibe and i was not disappointed another important point anyway important for me was how they look that they are beautiful and have a sense of style you know beauty can be defined in so many ways but to me beautiful is basically my friends i want people that are confident people that love how they look i have friends of all sizes all shapes some of them are tall a lot of my friends actually are tall some of us are shorter some are more plumpy some are skinnier so we have like all shades i have like beautiful melanin dark skin beautiful friends i have very pretty light skin friends so it's not about a certain definition of beauty but it's more about confidence so a babe that is confident is automatically beautiful and she has a nice sense of style i don't want to let's see bring out their shrewdby now and um it's a nice fabric then i give it to a bridesmaid or a bridesmaid gets the ashwabi and she doesn't necessarily have a good sense of style she will sew a dress that is not so pretty and it's going to mess up the pictures or she will even end up sewing a nice dress and then the accessories are just off like her general sense of style will still show in those outfits and it's just mess up the pictures so i wasn't looking for um like conventional definition of beauty but i was looking for confidence and style and my babes they got it another important thing is picking friends that will be a part of your life in the long run so we don't know what will happen 10 20 30 years from now but in the next years in the next few years you want those friends that are still going to be a part of your life if you pick all your bridesmaids just based on oh we met yesterday she was she seemed cool oh we met on instagram she seemed lovely she had a nice outfit or this and that and then after the wedding you can't call those people for advice you can't call those people in like let's go out oh i, I just want to like relax and come and spend time with my friend you can't meet them out what's the essence like what's the essence all my bridesmaids till now were still really tight it's not like it's been that long shot, but like we we're really close friends and i really pray that we're going to be close friends till 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 eternity because i really love these babes and yeah so i was really happy that i picked people that actually part of my life till now and i plan for them to be a part of my life in the long run one very key thing among your bride the bridal party or what they call it yeah your bridal party is who is going to be your chief bridesmaid so if your sister or one of your siblings maybe a family member like your close cousin or something is part of the uh bridal party and you feel just to make things easier to avoid controversy you can make that person your chief but I would suggest that the person you make your chief is one of your closest friends. Among all your close friends, one that is even closer, one that would be able to handle so many things. So for example, my sister, my sister was my chief and she was on my phone almost throughout because there's nothing that I wouldn't normally give her access to. So she will help with doing so many transactions for my bank account. Like my husband will send money to the account and when some people come, like um, people that you have to pay balances towards the last minute, like I don't know, um, makeup with things that you will pay ahead of time. But I know that before the wedding, we had not decided if we we're tying, if the bride, like, if the bridesmaids were tying gilly or not so when they decided they were tying gilly you needed to add that on top there were just so many other things that came up like my flowers didn't come on time so she had to send money to the planner to get another um bouquet which at the end there i found myself with two bouquets because the other one ended up coming but we were scared so she was able to handle so many things at a point i wasn't picking calls anymore she was the one receiving all my calls she was the one speaking to everybody that was calling me just reassuring me keeping me calm and all of that so that is very important she was also the person in charge of keeping the money so you know how when they spray you on the wedding day and all of that you may find yourself just keeping money in the hall which 
they can disappear so we advise that you have somebody in charge of it so when they pick up money after a batch of dancing and let's say we've gone to sit down she was in charge with um my husband's what do you call it grooms groomsman i be whatever yeah that thing i'll write it down here <laughs> my husband's groom man they were in charge of like taking it to the car and putting it in the car that brought myself and my husband to the venue and putting it in another bag there so like even this the security the bouncers and all of that they knew she was the one so if i needed anything they would let her pass through she'll come and give me stuff she'll just do different things for me and i'm so grateful for you sis love you i know you're going to watch this video love you so much and i can't wait to do the same for you very very soon so yeah on that note those are like some of the points i would advise you to consider when picking your bridesmaids so now you've picked your bridesmaids and it could be that you want a bridal shower or your friends want to surprise you i don't know however way you choose to do it but if you were to plan your own bridal shower this is what i would advise you to do so in my own case i didn't get involved in planning activities but there's so many key things i had discussed with my chief bridesmaid and she knew what to discuss within themselves when they now decided to throw me a bridal shower so number one thing i wanted was balloons <laughs> yeah I, I i love balloons it just makes me happy fill up this room with balloons and i'm happy like you have me so yeah i knew i wanted balloons and i just wanted to have a chill and nice time with my friends they did something outside of what i wanted because i just wanted us to watch movies play games just be in like an apartment and relax they did more than that thank you but yeah it was important that she had major information of what i wanted so my sister who was my chief she worked with my husband closely in terms of finances because i never wanted to put a burden on my friends to have to contribute money towards my own bridal shower however if i'm a bridesmaid and i need to contribute money for my friend's bridal shower i would not have an issue with it but i just always find it difficult to like take 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 from people so yeah so what they did is that they decided to do like a restaurant like a dinner was it a dinner it was more like brunch or lunch i don't even know it was later in the afternoon but it wasn't late enough to be dinner yeah so went out to this nice restaurant um they deceived me they just told me to dress up while going to the apartment we were going to have fun and all of that and yeah went to this nice restaurant it was well decorated looked so beautiful i'll be attaching pictures here and there and i had other the other bridesmaids waiting there for us so it was very lovely i was quite surprised then we had really good food because if you know me food is very 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 important to me so we had great food then the games they had really interesting games that helped with like ice breaking because though most of my friends knew each other but not all of them had known each other i have like my very close friend from school faith that came all the way from abuja and we schooled in uk together so she didn't necessarily know my other friends that are like lawyers that we met in law school and all of that so it was a nice opportunity for all of us to meet and gel and get to know each other also my close friend joy that we worked together we're in the same office she didn't necessarily know all my other friends so it was just a nice opportunity for everyone to come together get to know more about each other and just have a lovely time yeah so after having a great time at the restaurant eating good food that we could not even finish we had to pack them as takeout because that three course meal was mad it was really really stuffing so we now went on to the apartment so earlier on my husband and i had visited some apartments so i thought i knew the apartment would be staying at the apartment we had visited he actually booked it for himself and he booked an even better apartment for myself and my friend and i was like oh my gosh i love this place so yeah i went to the apartment and we now had to change for the after party why did we have an after party so um that week the wedding week was my husband's birthday and also we had already known that because my husband is like an only child from a yoruba home his parents were going to take over the wedding and i was very much happy with that like let them have their day so we were aware that we'll not necessarily be able to do an after party where we'll tell parents to go home and just the 
young peeps with me so we decided to do like an icebreaker party before so we meet like my husband's birthday and the whole planning and all of that so his friends came along then more of my friends that are guys also came along my husband knows a lot of my guy friends and then i know most of his guy friends my female friends know a lot of our guy friends just together so it was nice so all the guys came there a lot of the groomsmen were there the bridesmaids were there it also worked as like an ice breaking thing for them so because two days after we'll be at this wedding and we need to really party and have a great time and it's always good when they kind of know themselves before that day so it's not so awkward and all of it and it worked greatly yeah so my husband had booked a dj it, all of this is not necessary but this is how we did it and it really worked out for us so my husband had booked a dj and he also made an arrangement with mc that will be working with us on the wedding day to come for the party so he would mc kind of like just um lead on to the games and all of that during the pre-wedding party if i would call it that way yeah during the pre-wedding party and in that way he would get to know all the bridesmaids all the groomsmen so during the wedding when he was cracking like inner jokes like it was just so fun everyone could relate i mean everyone just us the young people we could relate because we had met a couple of days before he knew who to call whom for which game and for this and for that so it was really it was really nice <laughs> The games the MC made us play. Oh my lord. I saw my friends in all shades and forms. I will attach videos. Yes, you love be ready to be embarrassed. I will attach videos. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It was really fun. There were so many games, both on the girl side, the boy side, and it was so entertaining. We had a great time. We partied till quite late, I think 2 or 3 a.m. actually, before the guys left and stuff, and then we went to rest so someone can decide to do it differently you may not throw a party or whatever but like your bridal shower can also serve as a means for the bridesmaids and the groomsmen to meet after you've played after you spend a bit of time with the girls maybe the guys can join in a bit later or you can just start it from the get-go let's say we had all gone to the restaurant together and we're having dinner or brunch or whatever you would call it and we played those games even though they will not be as entertaining as we did at the um, apartment where we stayed which is also used for what you call it like house parties kind of things yeah it may not have been as fun as that but it will still serve well for ice breaking and all of that in a nutshell i would say pick your friend groups that are fun people with whom you'll have a great time people with a service mindset and you will have a great day enjoy the process really and truly you've worked for months towards this wedding planning and it's just a couple of days away guy have great time relax go out just enjoy yourself and in anticipation for the wedding day so i hope these tips were helpful and i look forward to your own uh, bridal party or bridal shower and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you guys for watching bye